Hi there, Sam Conlug at Infusion Studios. There's been a lot of cool model uh, flyby videos and whatnot since PhotoFly 2 was released on the Autodesk Lab site, uh, but I wanted to start looking into some practical applications, so I thought I would start with visual effects uh, as a good starting point. Here we are working with just a still at the moment um, from a video, and one cool byproduct of using PhotoFly is the ability to create depth mats uh, just from photos. Uh, which could be used for a number of things. Here we're just doing some variable depth of field on the entire shot, which is pretty cool. Uh, notice not just the CG elements. Um, so you can see I'm just shifting back and forth. Uh, here's my fancy giant teapots and my depth mat and then our original plate. Um, and we're just using a mental ray shadow reflect mat on uh, this geometry here. and used about five or six images, you see them in the top left here, to create that geometry minus the teapots. Here it is in the max viewport. And it's not incredibly accurate, but for shadow casting um, and reflections and whatnot, it doesn't really have to be. Um, this is f probably far more accurate than anything you'd do by hand, um, and it certainly saves you some time. So as you can see, um, PhotoFly could be very useful in a VFX pipeline. Uh, especially considering I took no measurements and only a handful of reference images. Um, still working on a smooth way to join camera solves from Match Mover uh, and join them with the mesh scene that PhotoFly puts out in its camera matches and bring those into Max so that your uh, moving camera starts from the proper point and proper scale. So soon I'll follow up this video with a more in-depth tutorial um, on a full workflow for moving shots. But until then, um, I thought folks might find this a little interesting uh, on the progress so far. Thanks for watching.